Hi, this is Pallavi Verma, and in this video, we will see what package.json and package.log.json files are. So, let's get started. So, I have opened this folder here. Inside this folder, I will generate package.json file. So, for that, I need to fire one command which is npm init. So, it will ask few questions like package name. So, I am keeping it as default version, description maybe, node.js, practice. And you can give as per your requirement. So entry point, test command I am not giving, git repo is not giving, author is Pallavi Verma. Now it will ask you to confirm the data. So we need to confirm it and press enter if yes. So now it has generated this package.json file. So if I open this, so it is containing exactly the same data that we have given here. So now this is not just about these particular data or entries or maybe key value pair because there are so many other things inside this. It will contain your dependencies. So dependencies are those that are required to perform some particular kind of task. So for that we need to install the node modules. So node modules will contain the set of default modules. So first I need to create the project for that. So npm i or npm install and the name of your project which is node practice that I am giving. Now it will install all the default dependencies or module. So you will be able to see one folder here. See now we have this node modules folder with me and I expand it so it is containing all the default modules. So now how we can add or install some modules as per our requirement. So for that again we need to fire some command. So for that npm i or npm install and the name of your package or module. So let's say it's http. So npm i http. So now it will install this http module for us and when we expand it we will be able to see that http for us. So let it refresh and now if I'll see so HTTP is there and the same entry you will see in your package.json file under the dependencies so we have this HTTP with us so like this you can install other modules for your requirements and now when it comes to this package log JSON file so what it is so it is containing the detailed version of your package.json so inside the package.json we have you know these dependencies and the name and very short description and its version when it comes to the package log json it will provide and give us the complete detail of your dependencies like its result if you go and hit this on your browser it will allow you to install the tar file so like that it will contain all the detail for particular modules. Now why this package log JSON is required? So when it comes to your project, your node project. So if you commit your code in any repository. So and if you want that some other person can clone it with the same dependencies with the same dependencies version. So that time package log JSON comes into the picture, which means you need to commit this package dot JSON and package log JSON file there. So once they have this package log JSON file and once they clone the project, they will have exactly the same dependencies and with the same versions. So if you don't commit this package log JSON file and once someone will clone that project, so there would be a chances once he will hit npm install or npm i. So in that case all the dependencies will be get updated and it will take its latest version. Not exactly that we have mentioned in our package.json file. That's why package log.json file is required. When we, win, when we want to restrict our dependencies to some particular version. So that's why we have these two files. And if I don't want to install the dependencies like npm, i and the name of your module. So what you can do is you can just go to your package.json 
inside the dependencies you need to give the name of your module and its version once you have that then what you can do you can do npm install and it will automatically download and install all the dependencies inside your project this is the one case when we are adding only one module here but there could be a chances there are so many modules so we cannot do for each and every modules so what we prefer we go to our package.json we just simply specify the name of the module and the version of the module and we'll just hit npm i or npm install so i think you are uh, and i hope you are clear with the package.json and package.log.json file so stay connected and i hope you like this video